Hello everyone. Today's video is about teaching children about bigger and smaller number. Generally when children start writing and recognizing numbers, they just see it as any symbol. So it is very important for parents and teachers to show children that every number is associated with quantity as used in real life. Many books and flashcards represent the concept but reinforcing them with objects in real life helps them relate better. So today we'll use few puzzle pieces to show children which number is bigger. Okay, so shall we start the activity? Here I'm having few puzzle pieces and here we have few numbers randomly. So now if you ask a child which is bigger 7 or 3, the child might find it difficult because for him these are just numbers. So now we are going to associate this number with quantity. So shall we start counting 7 puzzles? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So here we have 7 puzzles. Now shall we count 3 puzzles? You will count 1, 2 and 3. Now which number is bigger? Which has more puzzles? Is it 7 or 3? Yes, 7. Isn't it? See, now it's very easy for the child to relate the numbers. Now it sits in his mind that 7 means there will be many and 3 will be lesser than 7. Okay? So now if you ask the child which is bigger, 7 or 3, it is going to be 7. Shall we repeat this with 2 more numbers? You can use even buttons or chocolates or biscuits to do this activity. Now we have 2 numbers. This is 2. And this is 5. Shall we count two puzzle pieces now? Count as I keep. 1, 2. Shall we keep 5 puzzle pieces now? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now which number is bigger? 2 or 5? Yes, 5 because it has more pieces of puzzles. Okay, now shall we remove the puzzle pieces? Now which number is bigger? 2 or 5? Five? 5 is bigger than 2. Okay. Now, after relating it with the objects, then you need to reinforce the same thing with any worksheets. Okay. When a child has a pen or paper, how will the child Remember, without any objects. Now I have taken a number line from 1 to 10 and I have drawn circles according to the size. Okay, so 10 has the biggest circle and 1 has the smallest. Now looking at this, the child can recognize which number is bigger. Okay, so now when we give a child two numbers, say like, can you tell me which is the bigger number? Is it 4 or is it 9? All the child has to do is look at the number line 4 and 9. Which is the bigger number? Yes. He looks at the bigger circle and he can say 9 is the bigger number. Okay. Similarly, you can give him more numbers. Maybe we can give 2 and uh, 8. Now, among 2 and 8, which is the bigger number? Ask the child to look at the number line 2. 8. Which has the biggest circle? 8. Right. If you feel your child is comfortable, you can try giving 3 digits. 3, 7, 5. Ask the child to look into a number line. 3, 7 and 5. Which has the biggest circle? Right. 7. So 7 is the biggest number. Similarly, you can even ask for the smallest number. But make sure your child is familiar with the biggest number and then you will move to the smaller number concept. Okay. Here again you can ask the child to recognize the smaller number now with a smaller circle. Is 4 smaller or 7 smaller? Check. Which circle is small? 4. So 
4 is the smallest number. Which number is smaller? 8 or 3? Look at the number line. Which has a smaller circle? 8 or 3? 3, correct. Okay, so this is how your child will learn to identify the smaller number and the bigger number with the help of this number line. Okay, try doing this. You will have a lot of fun. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.